Okay, I really haven't been taking care of these renegade cantaloupe as it turns out. You can see one here is kind of a runt size, but the vines have all pretty much it got weedy and the vines dried up and it's been pretty dry and I haven't been watering good. And this one here, <laughs> something something's actually been eaten on this one. And then there it's got kind of a bad spot there. And the vine just pretty much shot right there, so it's time to Time to, yeah, see if there's anything that can be made out of that or not. I'm sure it'll have some a rotten place in it right, right there. Okay, here's my cantaloupe here. I don't really expect big things from it. Let's see what we got. I know part of it will be bad, but the part of it that's good may not be good. Actually, it looks pretty doggone good. Take a look at that. It's small, smells pretty good. I think it actually might be edible. Not gonna be very much of it. Probably wasn't worth fooling with, but the time I started fooling with it, I thought I was gonna get a bunch of cucumbers instead of just a tiny little bit of cantaloupe. Not as orange as some cantaloupe I've seen, so it may not have a huge amount of flavor, but it smells pretty strongly of cantaloupe. Okay, so there it is. One renegade cantaloupe. Now, we shall taste it. Yeah, I know I look like crap. Okay, here it goes. Edible, but somewhat mediocre. Okay, right here is a little oddity. Every year you have one misshapen vegetable. So, I have never in my entire life, okra topods do sometimes have a tendency to curl, but I have never seen an okra pod curl that much. So you guys are ready to go to the okra patch, huh? Okay, come on, let's go then. It's Carly. Come on, girl. Come on, snoozers. Time to pick okra. Oh, two garden buddies. Two good garden buddies. That's just all we are to it. Susie and Carly. Okay, it's Sunday, I guess it's September 28th. Just thought I'd milk was still producing, so this is not, you know, the day of the measurement and final count, but just thought I'd show my okra before it, you know, had a frost or two on it and went totally downhill. I wouldn't say this is at its peak or anything. It actually probably had more mass, more leaves on it a few days back, but uh, yeah, you can see there's... <laughs> There's lots of okra pods here. On the, all these are up over my head. <laughs> uh, the majority of plants, I guess on average, this is probably like seven foot tall maybe, maybe seven and a half. And then you got a couple here that's probably nine. And then I measured this one right here yesterday and it was nine foot, or no, excuse me, this was ten foot tall yesterday. So, it'll, it'll be getting, unless that tall plant blows over, it'll be getting something over ten foot. I seriously doubt it'll make it eleven foot, but it's going to make it over ten foot tall. So that's just a little overview of my okra before it, before it just sort of goes downhill too far. Because whenever I come out here on that final day and and uh, do my final measurement when it quits growing. It'll be, you know, kind of blackened and looking bad. But anyhow, there it is. Okay, it's Friday, October the 10th. I'm here in my okra patch. Uh, actually, I quit picking the okra several days back. Uh, 
although it's still producing just a tiny bit and uh, but the quality of it's gone down I'm not going to be eating any more off of it and essentially it's quit growing so it's time for my uh, results video and uh, as far as doing it maybe a few days early there's uh, uh, the, the winners I'm going to announce there's nobody that's close enough to them to uh, you know to worry about a few more days making any difference at all in the results so let's get to the winners here the uh, winner on the poundage uh, the actual poundage that I wound up getting is 224 and a half pounds and the closest to that Evil Spartacus at 190 pounds is the winner. Evil Spartacus beats out Ann to Matthew by one pound. Ann to Matthew had 189 pounds, so Evil Spartacus. Uh, if you watch this video, uh, get in contact with me, and uh, I'll uh, put a video of your choice on my uh, channel uh, for one week. And uh, that leaves the, uh, leaves the height. So let's measure this sucker. Okay, I'm not sure if you can quite see that on the camera or not, but it's almost exactly 10 foot and 4 inches. So the winner with 10 foot and 4 inches, we have a tie here between uh, this is Liz, who picked the exact amount, 10 foot 4 inches, and one D Rock 37167, Daryl, who also picked the exact amount, 10 foot 4 inches. Uh, I need to get you guys to pick my lottery numbers or something. Zach, of course, I don't play the lottery. But, uh, anyway, this is Liz and 1D Rock. Uh, yeah, you guys are the winners. So, uh, since we got a tie, I'll go ahead and give uh, each one of you guys a, uh, give each one of you guys a week. So, uh, get in contact with me if you see this video and, and let me know, uh, let me know what video you want me to put on my channel for a week. And if you don't get in contact with me in a few days, I'll, I'll get in contact with you. So that concludes this uh, okra contest. It's been a great year for the okra. I wound up uh, putting up 30, 35, 36, I don't know, somewhere around 35 uh, packs of okra in the freezer. So uh, I'll be eating quite a bit of okra this winter here, it looks like. I'll also be eating quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of soup. I did a... Uh, I did a video, which I have not got edited yet, uh, about uh, making a pot of soup out of my tomatoes and okra and various veggies. And eventually I'll get it edit edited and uh, posted. I'm not sure exactly when, but eventually. Okay, uh, thanks everybody, and thanks everybody for uh, participating in my little contest here. And just, you know, just thanks for watching my videos. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Okay, you two, we're done picking okra. It's time to go. Chop, chop. <laughs> Susie's going to beat you to the platform. She's almost all the way there. You better hustle. Susie's going to take the podium. You won't be able to speak. All right. If you don't get your way, it's just because she is too slow. Okay. You've got the podium. What have you got to say for yourself? Huh? What words of wisdom do you have for the people of YouTube? Tell us. Come on. Tell us. Tell us. Tell us what it's all about. Come on. What is it?
I know there's something grand and glorious you've got to say. Or else you wouldn't have took the podium. Come on. What is it? What is it? America awaits. America awaits the wisdom of Susie. Okay. Well, that's about as smart as anything. <laughs> I know Susie's coming. <laughs>